bow, let's bring it back. All right, the bow window is done. Apparently it's a bow if it's got more than three. A bay has got one and two sides, a bow has got more than three. Anyway, so that's all done, all leaded. Can't really show you up the top, but um, so that's sorted. Um, woodwork needs sorting. Uh, that's where the paint has not stuck to the original sort of stained, horrible, reddish mahogany colour. But anyway, so all, all the woodwork needs painting now. That bit, that bit, window sills, the um, uh, rendering needs painting. This, this horrible red paint around the bricks uh, is going to be repainted red because it's just halfway house. It, it's not falling off, but it's not sticking on, so it's going to need wire brushing and repainting. Don't like it, but that's how it's going to go. Anyway, so that's that. That bit's finished. It was quite bad, the one that was on there. Uh, there was some splits in it and bits and pieces. So, yeah, pleased with that. Oh yeah, and this is getting done in about three weeks. It's going to be like a charcoal grey um, block pave. And then we're going to look at that and decide what we're going to do. So, sorted. Uh, and then the Rita. Uh, going good. Uh, so we've discovered how to ride it nice and uh, uh, smoothly and sensibly. And um, love it for... Uh, heavy work and pillions and luggage and all that uh, but today I discovered the FTR zone so I will turn the camera around and we'll have a talk about that just before that I've got a, a jumper pack it's a jumper light uh, power outlets compressor hoses and that are in there uh, something I've been meaning to get for years and years because uh, I have I had a, like one of those chargers uh, a battery spare battery for the Escort uh, compressor with a cigarette lighter plug on it um, my windy gun electric 12 volt windy gun for wheel nuts so anytime I was doing any work I'd be having like four or five different things um, so anyway, I uh, decided to bite the bullet. Got a really good deal on this with my um, uh, trade card. Uh, got £15 off. It was £75 uh, and I got it for 60 with my trade card. So, bonus. Anyway, since I've got it, uh, it's been brilliant. I've been using it all the time to pump up all the tyres on all the cars every week. And um, yeah, it's got USB... Uh, I've got no finger now, so I can't share. Got a USB outlet, 13 amp, uh, 240 volt outlet, uh, LED light. Um, that's for the jump starty thing. Uh, when I, because I'm leaving the battery on the Escort at the moment because it's summertime, um, I tend to hook up another battery to it just to give it a bit of a boost because I. I only start it about once a month. Anyway, yeah, good bit of kit. Really pleased with that. And you just plug it in. Um, tells you if it's charging. It goes green when it's fully charged. And there's a little indicator there. Tells you the state of it. Yeah, anyway, good bit of kit. Right, onto the bike. Okay, so, having discovered how to ride this thing smoothly um, with passenger and luggage and making it glide along silently and effortlessly and nice and relaxed, um, I wondered how the police used these bikes because it was, at the time of the 1150, very popular with police forces. In fact, there's a, a, a few police versions of this for sale, which has got no rear seat and it's got like a big radio pack on the back. And they're quite sought after for some strange reason. But yeah, so I wondered how would the police use this bike, which is so leisurely and all about torque and not about speed and 
it's a great big dolloping lump like its rider um, anyway I discovered today uh, FRT uh, FTR so FTR uh, 5,000 revs so basically if you want to go bloody quick on it um, get that needle to 5,000 revs in every gear and strangely enough although I'd said if you rev it nothing happens and if and the gears are clunky if you don't short shift it well I don't know what's happened another another switch has clicked today um, if you get it up the rev range uh, the gear changes are really actually really slick and you can get a real real uh, a motor on um, and it is bloody quick okay it's not the fastest most powerful bike in the world it's only I, don't, I think it's under 100 horsepower it's like 95 horsepower or something but there's a huge amount of torque from that uh, flat twin boxer engine um, and yeah she goes as quick as uh, V-Strom thousands XJR 1300s um, 1200 bandits She's not quite up there with the 148 horsepower 1200 four cylinder Daytona, but that was just a different story. But yeah, so I discovered today that you can ride this like, um, I would say something like a Blackbird or um, a, 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 a post liter big sports tourer bike. Okay, this is not really sports tour, but I got very close to it today. So, yeah, you can you can actually hoon on it a bit. So I was very chuffed. Another little switch has um, flicked. Um, so yeah, you can have great fun on it. And um, handling is fantastic. It's it really 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 is sure footed. Um, so there you go. Bonus. I don't intend to ride like a maniac because I don't want any more speeding tickets. Thank you very much. But it is there if you want it. And even if you want to have a bit of fun in the speed limit, um, you get those revs up, uh, bloody hell she flies. So, yeah, I've been treating her uh, like an old bus uh, so far. So, there you go. Spot on. And that's it for now. Uh, peace and love, I'll be springy, see you later.